17th of May and uh, today I'm playing with the dog again and it's very cute so, yes <laughs> what's Mette doing? riding in the guest book here yeah. Yeah. Time. there's lots of explorers that have been to this place this is on the mm -hmm. on the Silk Road so it's a yeah. stopover for lots of people we can see hey. travelers and real nomads see how, how I can't <laughs> find it again but there was people that had drawn there they're bicycling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is actually a good picture somebody's drawn. It's like the two people traveling here on their bikes and then they've drawn the place that is here. Mm. And I think they've drawn here chai and Turkish people saying hello and waving here. Yeah, of course. Like oh, this. and that's a little creature. Yeah, we saw, we saw those. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, we saw those yesterday. Yeah, we saw those going to be camping with. Yeah, <laughs> No. Oh. Ah, <laughs> no. This is what happens in Turkey. You get to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so this is the ancient caravan Sarai in, here in Sultanhani, an ancient caravan park, basically for people travelling on the Silk Road. Oh, this is one of the Silk Roads. There's many Silk Roads. Um, this is one of the stopover points, uh, basically an ancient hotel. A little bit what we need. In the olden days they needed the same. So this is a hotel and here they would sell their goods to other traders and they would continue along the Silk Road heading from east to west and vice versa. So we'll go and have a little look. So this is the other side of the port. It's, uh, it was built uh, 800 years ago. And basically used, as I said, outside a hotel. And sleeping, stopover place. It's also the biggest caravanserai in, uh, in the whole of Turkey. Okay, this is maybe a place where they camp or sleep here. So let's see how, they, how it is here. Yeah, so it's a big room and you can hear some birds. So nice and yeah. cool in here. Yeah. yeah, it's nice and cool. Better than our tent this morning, that was very warm. <laughs> yeah. The people here in the winter time was in here in the room and in the summertime they was outside. So yes. So in the old days we had like a very practical shell for the iPhones, like we saw on the camping site in Casamil in Albania. Smart. Details here in this uh, ruin is how do they make it so uh, beautiful? This and how long would it take? So it's really beautiful to see here. And uh, I will say, I will, I will not uh, be hold my life and make one row. I will make, for example, that and so easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> but here they make really beautiful uh, scientific. Yeah. What a surprise, another sleeping dog. There's another dog. And one more. This is a uh, few of the destinations we are going to see in Cappadocia. So you can see here Cappadocia, uh, Cappadocia again, and Cappadocia again. Pusher, New York. Yeah. So then you can see what you've got to come in the next few days. <laughs> what we've got to come. Can they want? Okay, just had a nice morning here, taking it easy. Just been over to see the Canavan SI. Just about to head out to the town again on the road to Aksaroy. So, uh, in ancient times, we would have stayed in the hotel behind us there. We stayed in the campsite, only 200 meters away from it, nice place. 
best grass we've seen so far in Turkey. Helpful guy again. Nice friendly owners, they gave us some tips on where we can go. There's a valley we're going to go and see after Aksaray. So it's even better than Cappadocia without all the tourists. Lots of uh, underground caves and uh, ancient sites to visit, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, well, right, I'm not sure how far we're going today, no idea. No idea yet. We'll just get on the road and see how far we get. We'll see how it goes. So, this was Sultanani. Back on the road, another very, very flat and straight road again to start the day. On the way to Axelroy. Let's uh, see if it stays like this. Not sure whether you can see them, but there's lots of small animals running around the side of the road here, disappearing down holes. Let's see if we can get them on film. Police here in Turkey, they're slimline versions. Today is a not like yesterday, a very flat, straight road. Apart from the fact that we've got this mountain to look at over there. It's Mount Hassan, 3,200 meter mountain. And now we're just entering Aksaray, so this will be the end of the flat roads. The modern city of Haxaroy behind us. We're heading for the hills. This way. Uh, just on the other side of the city, it looks completely different. All the flat plains are gone. Now it's rolling hills. You can see some of the towns we're going to be visiting. Salim, Kusalur. Well, all places have been told. Ancient sites and underground cities, all kinds of interesting things. So, I'll look out now for a place to camp. So, this is going to be today's campsite. Nice green area here. Another Turkish family camping there. James already playing football with them. So the other family that are camping here, they've just come over with the telephone, Google Translate, and asked if you come over and eat with them. <laughs> so it, uh, we, they will cook everything. They said we don't need to take any food, but we'll take something anyway. But, uh, Amazing. <laughs> Turkish people there. Extremely hospitable and kind. So uh, it's Ramadan at the moment. I think they have to wait 10 minutes until 8 o'clock, I think they said, until they can eat. So um, we're going to have dinner here in this nice Turkish family. Let's take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> With the wonders of Google Translate, we managed to sit here and try and communicate. <laughs> Amazing. Bye-bye. 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 Jami diyor. Jami demiyor. Jami. Jami. Okay. Oh, well, the first thing you can hear that's just frogs in the background, but never mind that. But, uh, we just turned up on this uh, small grassy area where there's another Turkish family. We could see they were put the tent up, and then we 
asked if we could come here and they said uh, yeah, it's a good place to come and then after 10 minutes they one of the small girls she came over with some of these small apples that we've that you've seen before we've been given and then Jamie was playing football with them and then 10 minutes after that they came over with a telephone with Google Translate and asked if we want to eat with them <laughs> so so uh, we just went over to them to find out what they meant, if they actually meant we should go and eat, but we didn't make a mistake and invite ourselves for dinner. <laughs> but no, they actually wanted us to go over and eat with them, so that's what we did. Well, that was an extremely good evening. Yeah, we are overwhelmed by their friendliness and hospitality. We thought it was going to be a day with nothing interesting happened, and all of a sudden we are invited to dinner here from the camping with the Turkish yeah, family. Yeah, so. Very nice, and they shared all the food with us and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. I'm completely isn't it? overwhelmed. Yeah, the kindness of the people in Turkey is amazing. We heard about it before we arrived, but uh, now it's uh, yeah. Once again, we're just overwhelmed by the kindness of the people. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that was a good night. We'll always remember that night. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And, uh, we spent one hour trying to find a place to camp. We didn't know where to camp. In the end, we obviously turned up in the right place. So, uh, yeah. so a thing I want to say to everyone that are seeing our video are uh, maybe you seen some travelers or some kind of thing. So I will say, be kind with them because then will they will give the same bag again. Mm -hmm. So maybe with this family we are saying maybe again. We want to share our things with them, mm -hmm. so yeah. that means they have make a good thing, and so we will make a good thing for them, maybe mm -hmm. when we are seeing them. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, and a good thing are oh, talk, and a oh. thing, <laughs> and the thing I would say is, don't be scared to talk with the people you don't understand, but. I do it sometimes and it's it's work perfect because it's good we have Google Translator. <laughs> yeah, so, that's lucky. Yeah, so thank you Google Translator. Thank yeah. you for that designing. Yeah, it <laughs> uh, makes evenings like this possible. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Otherwise it would be a little bit difficult. But with Google Translate we managed to ask lots of questions and they actually, it's the month of uh, Ramadan now. So actually 30 days they, they, they fast. So they told us that they ate at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. That was the last time they'd eaten. eaten. No, they, they ate at uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. So so they eat at 3 o'clock, go to sleep, are uh, awake all day without eating, and then 8 o'clock they eat. But we said, is it not uh, difficult? But this is that they get used to it after two days. And it's not that difficult after that. So, yeah. It's a little bit strange for us to, to understand that that's actually possible. You know, Meta gets hungry after two hours after breakfast. <laughs> Sometimes after one hour after breakfast, she's saying, "Oh, yeah. should, shall we stop?" <laughs> Today we hadn't even started, and she wanted breakfast and she wanted we lunch. Be Muslim, be hopeless. Yeah, but they say you get used to it. So, um, yeah. but, uh, should we say good night? Yes. So that was the day when nothing happened, but yeah. something happened anyway. Yeah. So, so yeah. See you tomorrow, and uh, yeah, and so we are biking mm. in into uh, what a valley, a valley. A valley. Mm. So, mm. so that will be more beautiful because mm. today and yesterday it has been flat and boring, but mm. easy peasy. I'm squeezy. And we will sleep with the frogs now, yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always some strange noise outside the tent, <laughs> no matter where we are, usually dogs, but uh, no, it's frogs today. So. That's the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good night. Yeah, we'll good night. see you in uh, what's the name valley the valley called? I Yeah, I'm sure you will film something before we get to the valley. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>